Hey guys, I'm continuing straight on from the previous video. So we're now up to finding the compression in the steel. So what we're going to have to do is come to our strain diagram and draw in the steel strain. Okay, so those lines correspond to where the steel is in strain, or the steel straining. So I'm going to call that strain one, strain two, and strain three. So that's for layer one, layer two, and layer three. Now the first thing we need to do is actually find the strain in the steel. Now the way we're going to do that is just by similar triangles. Okay, you can see we have a triangle here, 0 0.003, and we're going to find E1. So when we do this, we always need to check it against our yield strain. So you'll see what happens in a sec. So let's go find. So strain one on. So I'm doing this big triangle. So, so this triangle, so the E1 all the way there to 0 0.003 all the way there. So this triangle and that triangle. So the small e on 0 0.003, so that, that side on that side on 0 0.003 is going to equal, now we're going to look at distances. So the distance from there to there would be 200 minus 185. So this distance from there to there is 200 minus 15. So that would be 185. So this is equal to 185 on top of the point 003 has a distance, the full depth. So 200 on 200. If you were to solve this for little e1, so you would find you would have a strain of point 0028. Now, what you always have to do is check it against the yield strain. So we found the yield strain in the previous video.